Hello, hello there. My name is Mo, my co-host Corey. We are The Real Guys and this is The Real Show with two ears. We are coming at you on the 31st of December and it is uh, New Year's Eve. Mm. So we will be delivering a special two-hour year breakdown, year news breakdown. Yeah. It'll be a very interesting show. It is. As always, um, I'll quit my co-host Corey. To the, to the viewers of our video version, you might be watching this. Yeah. That comes out around at the same time on our YouTube channel, The Real Show, The Real Show, Real with Two Ears. Yes. We're in a different setup. We're yeah. in a different studio. We've got a new makeover for the new year. Even if, however brief, yes. we are in uh, a, n- a new uh, background. Yeah, we are here uh, for this lovely episode. Because um, mm-hmm. our, our current circumstances, we have to be in here. Yes, we've changed just for the just for the time being. Back, back. To, obviously, this is this is back in the old days. We used to record in Murray's room. Yep. With this microphone here. Yes, my bedroom. And um, now we then we now we changed it. Well, eventually we did used to start on Skype. Yeah, we did on Skype originally. I think this year. I think was it early this year? Uh. It's December now. It is. It is. He let says me, as he moves the star mix over to the. Let me go on. over to the headphones. <laughs> let me let me let me go back onto our our lovely YouTube channel. The right. Real okay. Show, the Real Show on YouTube. Okay. Um. There it is, 28 subscribers. Look at that. Don't say the number. So, when did we start? I'm going to have some more Mao and Pinball okay. while we do this. Oh, this will be a very casual episode if you've just tuned in. Yeah. This will be a very casual episode if you've tuned into this podcast, this program, because we've this is our last show of the year, and we've decided to dedicate it purely to our, uh, our own growth, the growth of the film industry, and our own presentation style. I believe, yes, we start... In fact, this year... We were in your room, because our first episode of the year was the Eve of the Daleks. Wow. And we were in your room for that. 100%. Um, 100%. We were in your room. How many have we done since? Eve of the Daleks was episode 58. When this goes out, we are on... We've just hit 100. Holy crap. We've just recorded 101. Wow. So this would be 103, I believe. I think so. Nice. Yeah. I'm very proud. Of us, Corey. So, just under 50 episodes. Mm. About fifty, about 45, I think, we've recorded this year. Mm-hmm. Some, somewhere near there. And we've done it with next to no audience engagement. Yes. No guests of any kind. No. Um, no guests at all. One thing I was interested in, actually, is... And I don't know if we did it or not. Mm. I'm going to put the headphones. It's not needed. Okay. Wow. Is... I'm curious if... Now, last year we did this. You could have done that before we started recording, Corey. Yes, I know. Last year we did this. We did a, a, a year in review, 2021 year in review. Mm. There it is on a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to quickly whack on my headphones. Right. And have a little look to see if... We, have, a li- have, a li- have a listen to it. I want to know if we gave, like, a next year, we're going to do this. Okay, if we did that cliche thing. Yeah. And I want to know if we did that. Right. Did we actually do what we said we'd do. You're going to listen to that. Yes. And I will... Goodness, that's 58... That's fifth, about 50 minutes long. It'll be near the end. Okay, it'll be near the end. Sure It'll thing. be near the end. I'll let you. I'll let you listen to that. And want me to just ent- entertain the, yep. entertain the listener with with with. I, mean, I, I can still talk. Right. Okay. Sure, you can. <laughs> I'm sure you can, Corey. I, d- I don't doubt that. Yes. I'm sure you can talk. What this is going to be is we've been granted a, a, a two-hour special, about an hour and fifty minutes. Correct. To, to, to wow you, to regale you with with tales and stories of our of our journey through the year really 2022 it's been a a big year for a lot of people a big year for the world a good year for cinema and we'll be moving on to 2023 uh very soon very very soon what's did we yes we did what did we say uh goodness nothing too dramatic i hope no uh, with the generic thing of we're gonna uh, have better quality yeah which we've got yeah that's, that's tick 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 yeah uh, we did say more guests. Okay, well, didn't meet that one exactly. No. Nope. Uh, and that's pretty much it. More, more videos, okay. more quality, more guests. Okay, Which more we... video. More video. You know what? Two out of three is yeah. not bad at all. Two out of three is not bad at all. More quality, yes, yes, I think, definitely. Moved into an actual studio, real recording equipment. Yes. Even this microphone, even real recording equipment, better than just sitting on Skype and, and cutting over each other all the time. Yeah. And not hearing each other. Then, <laughs> he says, knowing what the last episode was, then... More guests we didn't get, nope. so that's not not like that one. But more episodes, goodness golly, we've we've done it pretty much every week. Yeah. Well, I'd want to say every we have done it every single week. I'm, and I'm, in, I'm incredibly proud of us. Um, but yeah, we started with Eva Daleks. Mm-hmm. That was our first one. Yeah. 
And so that, that, that for us is what kicked off the year. Mm-hmm. Of seeing TV. I've got two theme balls left. Do you want the last night one? Sure. That's uh, the first thing we watched in the year. Yeah. The first thing we've written in the year. Either night. Very good start to the year. Very good. Do we have Rachel for that one? No. Oh, no, we didn't. No. Nope. That was just me and you. Mm-hmm. In the bedroom. That's right. Talking about Nicholas Briggs. We should be talking to Nicholas Briggs. That should be our aim for next year. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, obviously, of course, for the whole year, mm-hmm. we had the whole Doctor Who arc yep. uh, finish. Mm-hmm. Just wrapped up a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I finished that. Um, with, what was that episode called? It was Power of the Doctor. Yes. So that's now finished. Yeah. That's Congratulations. That's that's a, that's three specials of Doctor Who and Jodie's whole run yep. com- completed. Because we, did, we didn't do the television series, we didn't watch it, but we did we did these specials. Yes. Um, so we did that. We covered every Marvel show under the flipping sun. Yeah. We covered Hawkeye. Yeah. Um, what else came out? Loki. That was last year. We did, Sp- we did um, Spider-Man, sorry. Yeah, that Moon was last Knight. year. Yeah, Moon Knight's this year. Moon Knight. Um, we did, I'm just I'm just looking at the thumbnails now, effectively. Bit of Miss Marvel. Bit of Miss Marvel, yeah, sorry, yeah, Miss Marvel. I can't believe we missed that in the last episode. We did Miss Marvel, we did... That's Andor there, so that's that's the most recent one, I yeah. think. Four days ago, our, our most recent one was, uh, was Andor. Yeah, I mean, it's... In terms of a year, I think we did all right. Yeah, I think we did all right. Well, that's it, folks. We'll see you next, we'll see you next year. Bye-bye. Yeah, now just two yeah. hours of music. Now just two hours of music. Da, 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 da. No, we... This has been... At times... Let's, no, let's, let's be honest, Corey. Yeah. This, this show has been our best friend and our worst friend at times, as he pops open the, the, the celebration tin. Milky Way. Yeah. I'm going to have a Twix and I'm just going to sit with it for that a minute. That was meant to be more dramatic of it. Yeah. Well, just, you tried to do a champagne cork kind of pop there and it just kind of flopped out of your hand. Didn't work. You had to do the dramatic toss behind the shoulder to make it look any good. Yeah. This show has been our, our best friend and our worst friend at times because it's been incredibly gratifying to create a product that is seen on, on the internet and, and yeah. on the radio waves and to hear us on... On our radio station, I I like to think there's some people that that listen that I'm sorry that listen to us. I'm not going to stop crying. That listen to us and don't know that we actually this show is a radio program as well. Yes, there's some people that might listen to us on Spotify or Amazon or, or Google Podcasts that and not correct. know that we're actually this is a radio program as well as being a yeah. as well as being a podcast. Because uh, we started our podcast halfway through last year, I believe. Yeah. Um, our first episode was, I believe it was One Division. It was, yeah, yeah. It was, it was One Division. Took us, took us twenty episodes for society. You know what? Let's put it onto online sources, which was, to be fair, not actually long after our YouTube channel. No, our YouTube channel was mainly used to just as, kind of like just like a storeroom of our yeah. programs where we started to think, hold on, we can put some effort into this. Yes. This and then it turned into what it is now, and I'm I'm incredibly happy with it. I I feel like overall I feel like there's been more good moments than bad. Yes. Not saying there hasn't been problems. There has. Yeah. Of course, locationing and 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 working out all this kind of stuff and and yeah. frequent negotiations with people has been has slowed us down. Of course. I mean, you can go back into it as well when we had. Um... What was I mean? Also, I said one thing at the start of the year, which we literally just spoke about right now, um, about bringing back. Like, so yeah, Doctor Who, and you scroll up a bit. Like, there's Star Wars Battlefront Two, mm-hmm. uh, and there's a bit of a bit of injustice, and then we had where is it? There is a bit of Kenobi that bit, had footage in it, that had gameplay. gameplay in it, bit of gameplay. And that didn't do bad too badly. We could we could we could probably make a startup gameplay again. I know it's not good to listen. It's not good to listen to gameplay because you're not of course watching it. Yes. But that 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 creates some incentive for the YouTube side of things, doesn't it? Yeah. To hop on to, to our to our YouTube channel and watch yeah. the I gameplay. Mean, the whole year in general primarily has been focused on just the radio show. Yeah. Nothing else. It's been yeah. Like, I don't really think any bonus YouTube content. No. The only bonus YouTube content that has been was the two years um, out of context video, mm. which did not air on the radio, which you only actually... aired on YouTube, mm. uh, and that's it. There was no movie, ver- uh, movie not movie versus. There was no um, uh, oh, what's it called? Good film, bad review. Mm. There was no. Um, 
There was no movie versus either. No, there wasn't actually any movie versus either. No. Um, what's the other one? What else we used to do for YouTube? No, uh, we recorded. No, no, one real real show went out. Yeah. And we recorded two. One went out. What happened to the second one? I remember. Uh, I can't remember what the second one was. Was that our, was that our like childhoods reminisce episode? That one went out. The one where I flicked those go-go's and I flicked it so well that it knocked it knocked two of them out. So no, no. Uh, so the Dinosaur King episode went mm-hmm. out. That one didn't go out. Okay. And the uh, Wikipedia game did not go out either. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad the Wikipedia didn't go out, honestly. Yes. But how much of a disaster that turned out to be. Uh, but no, the real show's been... It's been, it's been kicking off. It was, it's, I feel like... The, do you want to talk about sort of the segment... I guess this might turn into a more exten- existential video. Yes. Where we talk about what goes away and what comes back and how do we kind of deal with that. Yeah. Because we this started out as in our minds mm-hmm. as a kind of as a Mark Commode Simon Mayo yeah. film to BBC Four film review yeah. show of we're going to go into the latest films and we're going to review them we're going to give news yes. we're going to give updates yeah and I mean on our yeah so our first ever episode which by the way was fantastic fantastic because I'm in an empty an empty hall. But it's echoey as, he- as yeah. heck. You're in a really empty room with Echo, and I'm just sat in my bedroom yeah. on a laptop with no microphone. And I'm praying that no one comes in through the door and asks me what I'm doing in here, because yes. I have no right to be in the hall that I'm in. Yep. And it's, an, it's an anxious filled 45 minutes. It's an anxious 45 minutes of me trying to run through my patchy notes on my laptop and... Stuttering and umming and ahhing and going. Yeah. The news. I've got news. We don't yes. even do news anymore. Yeah. Well, and I talked about the segmentization, the how yeah. how things drop and things. We stopped doing things. We started with news and we had good film bad review, which sometimes was part of an episode. Yes. And sometimes was its own thing. Because um, a lot of the time we'd cut an episode into halves. We'd be mm. like, here's a half a game and here's half of a review of yeah. something. Um, Strangely enough, I, I, two episodes ago we did um, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Yes. That was turned into a full episode, despite the fact we had an idea to, to make it into a game. Yes. We had a game and then we had a yes, a, we, a review planned, but we got to cut that out. Yeah, we split that mm. um, back into the same thing. But we started that year, and it was supposed to be a more informative, we're serious... We're professionals. Yeah. We're professionals, and this is the professional show. Yes. We're filmmakers. We're going to talk about film. Yes. What went wrong. We're filmmakers. We can yeah. give you the latest news on the latest films. Yes. You can tune in to us at The Real Show. Yes. But yeah. no, that swiftly became a... Yeah. Right, well, this has been on. Let's just kind of talk about it. Um, yeah. Well, it was supposed to be that, and it was supposed to be a serious critique, and we'll go through it, and we'll break it down, because we know what we're on about, etc. Et we know what we're on about. And then... Put that on a t-shirt. The real show. We know what we're on about. And then it broke down into... It did break down. Just stuff. It broke down into... I feel like... Do you think we were given too much creativity? Too well, much creative control by people the who... Th- the thing is, we started off and we were said, we said to each serious. other... Serious. We're going to be a, a, yeah, a, a Simon Mayer Mark Mode thing. Yeah. And then we split into like, oh, but what if we do something else? What if we're like... What a, if we do this? What if we yeah, do this? Like, oh, what if we're like a written link, more casual... Yeah, yeah. That's informative. I'm a big fan of Retin Link. You are as well. I am as well. Um, we're, we're arguably emulating their their uh, their style here, not just in Good Mythical Morning, but also in Ear Biscuits, yes. their their podcast. Yes, except we're doing a thing, and we're doing a thing where we, we we look at each other, not in the video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's what they do on Ear Biscuits, though. Yeah. They don't look at the camera very often. But uh, so we kind of started doing that, and it became more casual and it became more relaxed, and then. Yeah, but we had a lot of a lot of control. We could do what we want, send mm-hmm. it in, record our own show, send it in. Cool. We made our own Spotify and uh, uh, Apple Podcast and whatever mm-hmm. page, and had a, had to make a logo, which we're still using now. Mm-hmm. Um, I keep saying that redesign should be coming. When when do you have you even worked on that? Because we got it very similar to. We, we made did. a sort of Indiana Jones parody kind of thing. Yeah, and then. That turned into a whole kerfuffle when we realised, hold on, yes. we might get sued. Yes, we need to get this approved. We need to get this approved. It was never approved. No. And now we're just kind of sitting with all these amazing designs that you've done, not able to use them. <laughs> to the point where one day I'm going to turn around and say, just use them. Yeah. I see people ripping off other films all the time with their podcast. Why don't we just do it? Yeah. Just put it on our, just just leave our sort of, I say this like, you know when you're, when you're in college or in school or whatever and you go to a new school 
and you have groups of friends, and yep. you're kind of a different person for each of those groups of friends. So much that there's memes about it. You know, oh, my personality when I'm with my cool friend group and when I'm with my nerd friend group or whatever. I was a lot of that in college. I was like yeah. a lot of that in college. I don't know I ever had cool friends. I think I had cool friends in college. But I was like, I was with one group and that group sort of splintered eventually. Yeah. So where there's sm separate small groups. And I'd still like hang around with them. Yeah. So I'd just join the separate small groups intermittently. Yeah. But every separate small group, I'd be kind of be a different person almost. Yeah, I mean, we've had we've had conversations as well of like, so it, it, it broke down to, I mean, we started doing like uh, Good From Bad Roo and yeah. Universes and um, I think we just called it Reactions. Where's the, where's the one Clone Wars episode? It was Reaction Highlights. Mm. Um, where we sat and we watched the whole we watched first half of the... Of the Jenny Tohofsky Clone yeah. Wars series, 2003. We also watched Future Caps Annex, RIP, that didn't make it. Yep. Uh, and we, that was fun though. That was one of the most funnest episodes I've ever was. had, and I'm so sorry that never got anywhere. And there were, de there's definitely been times we could have done that again. Like, we, if we if we had the time, we could have gone, let's do that. Like, yeah. um, like Shark Exorcist. Yeah, we could have watched that. We could have watched that together. But then, but but that's like that would have been like extra bonus YouTube thing. Yeah. And I think this year has just been focused on let's just hone the radio mm -hmm. side of stuff, get yeah. the real show all sorted out and get the format sorted out once yeah. that's done we can add in like yeah. secondary reviews mm -hmm. or if you can watch... get footage on your ps4 i'm tempted to do the uh, well, to actually sit us down and play some 2k that's together. how i got footage of star wars mate. yeah i know you we play star wars battlefront yes. and you got footage off yes. off star wars battlefront yep. and then i was like oh you can do this we mm -hmm. can play other games together so i'm tempted to play some to play some 2k okay. this year there is probably going to be stuff like i mean again like next year even though i'll probably get my butt kicked you will um I like the. Oh, will I? Will I now? Maybe I'm really good at the game, Corey, and I'm just kind of, I'm just underplaying my skills. Maybe. Maybe but, no. Maybe I was just playing for like I've only been playing since October, and I and I still lose to the AI sometimes. But, uh, but it's not my fault. Bailey, I used my resiliency to to kick out of Bailey's rose plant, and she just does it on Oscar and pins her instead. Yeah. Well, I'm flipping stunned. That's 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 heck. That's that's a bunch of heck. That is. Yeah, but no, uh, but this just made just just been focused on a real show. No guests, just us trying mm. to entertain people for a whole year. So now hard work next year. There is a possibility that maybe we bring in some extra stuff. Right. Maybe well, I think we're more, I think we're better at planning it now. I think yeah. we're better at planning realistically now. I think the only thing is we if, were worse back then. If we decided to do like let's say um, next year, there's a, a film coming out. And we we know we're going to review that film or that TV show, and it's a trailer. We kind of did it with Spider Man this year. Yeah. Um, we we'll probably record. Let's say we record like oh, a trailer's out, five minute trailer. We'll sit down. We'll we'll hop on like a Zoom call. Yeah. If we ever did anything bonus for YouTube, it would be lower quality stuff. Yeah. Like we're not going to come to a studio unless we have time to quickly whack out a laptop, watch a video for five minutes, and record an episode. If we have time, but normally we don't. <laughs> we literally go in, we record, we sit down, and we're done. And we like five minutes later, we're out of the board and we have to leave. Mm. So if we did, it would be a case of that stuff probably would be not as high quality. But then I guess it's just extra content. So would there be more of it? Do you think there'd be more of it? Yeah, if it's like a five-minute trailer reaction, we're okay, right, just hop on Zoom for five minutes. We'll both hit play on the on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, we'll just sit and watch it and be like, oh, that's yeah, that's cool. We'll yeah. theorize about stuff or whatever. Um, We've already spoken about getting people on. Yep, we've got a few ideas for guests coming up for next year. I feel like the more that we plan now, yeah, because the fact that all of our sort of Christmas recording, basically apart from one thing we have to kind of have to do later, yep. is all completed. Yes, we can now purely focus on January, February next year, where we'll, where we'll be more clear on what we're doing. Yep, because obviously things happen in life. I have a, I have a job now yeah, that's yeah. five days a week, so. I have to adhere to that, and but thankfully I'm I've been I've I've kind of said, look, I work very I'm a routine person I'm yep. a routine I'm a person of routine and I'll and I'll and I've got no problem in admitting to that I don't like when there's kind of a fork in the road and when something blocks what I'm doing I'm a, a very creature of routine as Corey knows yes. I like everything at a specific time and everything to run it on on every specific day like Monday I will get up and do this until then and then I will do this I run my life kind of by hours yeah. Which is a very funny way to run your life, but it is sort of a very funny way to run your life. If you run your life for going right, if I go to sleep at at at, at, at eleven o'clock and I wake up at six, yeah. I will have seven hours of sleep. Yeah. 
That, uh, that's that's my kind of person. If I stay up, oh, it's midnight. I'll only have six hours of sleep. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm no, that kind of person. I do that. I rule my life by the hour. Like I'm... oh, I will work from I will work on this script from four until six. That will give me two hours yes. of pure work. Yes. And then from six, I will go to the bathroom and I'm, I will have dinner for seven. I'll have one hour to do what I like. Yeah. You see, I'm like that. Where the day before, I'll be like, right, I want to get this done today, this done today, and this done today. To the point where, if I'm planning that, and like someone goes, oh, do you want to go out? I always get no. annoyed. Because I'm like, I've already planned my day out. Yeah, <laughs> I've planned my day planned. out, I'm not going to change it. Um, but it's like, I'm I'm similar. And so if mm. we get stuff planned, cool. The mm. thing is with us as well, our first year of radio, which is really half a year. Yeah. We did it for May, or like October, I think. Um... We always try and improve. And we try yeah. and get better and bring it up a bit, whether it's quality yeah, or... Yeah, quality, yeah, yeah. Because, again, our first year was, was, wasn't was great. No, not great at all. Um, but well, that was, well, we were both very inexperienced. Yes. Um, our second year, we hit it up. We went into your room before every time we yeah. record. We used a microphone. Uh, we did record on a Skype last year. Um, and clean feed and yeah. all these other avenues. And quality got a bit better. And then... Now we're recording in the studio and we've got better equipment. Mm. Our YouTube and Spotify has got uh, more thumbnails yeah. rather than you know, kind of more custom thumbnails to each video. Editing, yeah, yeah. We show our faces now. We do, well, Hello. Which is a thing for this year. I, I, I was very hesitant to do that. You were. I wasn't, but I've had experience being online for... Yes, you have. Been, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't been online at all. I have, my face has not been viewable at all. I, for anyone. Cause, yeah, because like, I've had YouTube before. Yes, you have. It's still up, it's still active. Just don't use it. Yeah. Um, so my face has been shown online plenty of times. Social right. media, whatever. Um, so I was always open to it. Right. You were more of a hesitant. hesitant I was. Type. I was more hesitant to it. Cause I don't know how else to do it. Yeah, but it's not, like I'm, it's not like I'm doing anything, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm not like I'm doing anything too inappropriate. This is just what I'm just talking about what I like. And we're just having... You know, sure, I say some funny quotes nowadays, and I'm a bit of a funny person when I speak, but but other than that, I've got no qualms about showing my face. It's fine, I think. Yeah. I think I've definitely come around to it now. And so next year, it's just going to be the case of how do we ramp it up some How do more? we bring it up again? How do we how yeah. do we elevate it the next time? Because every, every year, I feel like we're getting a little bit better. Yes. There is a couple things that, like we say, we've, we've got guests... Maybe guests on. planning. Yeah, we're planning for more guests. I know we say that. We said that last yeah. year, but this time yeah, but we have. Last year we didn't have a plan. We yeah. just wanted more guests. Yeah, we're more realistic this time. Yeah. We've got more in the bag. We've we've thought about it a lot more. We're a lot more realistic with with our location. We're a lot more realistic with who we can get. Yeah. And also, like I said, maybe a couple of bonus stuff. There's a couple of things design wise uh, that haven't happened yet. Hmm. And but you don't know about because some of the editing side of stuff, right? So layout wise, okay. video video format wise, which may or may not happen. Either on one of these episodes we're recording now or at some right. point next year. Oh, okay. Keep that to yourself. Um, interested. So you'll see if that happens. If it doesn't happen, okay, I'm interested in that. It will probably happen once. Right. Whether or not it sticks. Has it happened already? No. Okay. Whether or not it sticks is a completely. Because I was going to tell you something cause, that I quite liked, and yeah. I because. I wonder, I wonder if you could do it again or whether it's hard for you to do I'll describe it to you now. You tell me when um, I go turn the camera on. Okay, this. right. Go and fix the camera. That's for the that's for the video people <laughs> who don't understand. The radio people who are like, what? The the, the podcast people are not going to be understanding about this. But do you remember? what I don't know what video it was. I'm going to compare. There's a reaction channel I really like called Blind Wave. Have you heard of them? No. No, it's four American guys. It used to be five. There's okay. one of them left. There's four American guys who react to like, and then, you know, Star Wars and Marvel and that kind of mm. stuff. You know, you know, Disney, Disney products, that kind of thing. I say Star Wars and Marvel are both owned by Disney. They react to anime as well, anime and cartoons and dolly yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing Ben Ten at the minute. Ooh, anyway, goodness. well, Corey, which is for the Star Wars, do you mind? Go for it. I might have a cola bottle. Continue. And what they've done is for their edit- for their reactions. Everyone wants to see the reaction. They don't want to see the forty minutes afterwards when they're talking about it, right? So what they've done is they've put the segments of the YouTube video into like little bits, like ah. little time codes where yes. you can skip. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. what they're doing? Yes. Uh, we've done. And that. you did that once on one episode, and I really liked it. And I wonder, is that hard to do? It, no, it's not. It, it, it's been on others. Mm. Um. Yeah, so I did it initially on our tier lists. Yeah. Back when they were a thing. 
that we used to do. We should do them again. We should. Um, I've done them a couple of times. The only reason why I don't do them is one, because I forget they exist. Because <laughs> there's not like an option. When you go to upload a video, it's not like add chapters. Mm. You have to add it to the description, All right. like manually. Mm. So it doesn't prompt you to do it. So I forget it's a thing. But also because like, I only really did it when I was like, okay, right. There's obvious segments of mm. when we change topic. Whereas yes. currently, normally, no, it's just one massive talk yeah. and then a wreck and that's it. Mm. Um, that may be coming back, but no, it's something we've never done before. You think we should structure it a bit more? Probably a little bit. Um, but, Add that to the list. Yes. But there's something else uh, which hasn't been done before mm. and will probably happen once and may or may not stick. Well, I won't, I won't pressure on that. I'm well, may not. or may not be frequent anyway. Right. But if time okay. gives it a chance, it will be there. And it might just lift it up a little bit. Okay, X. Well, you know what we say. We're always looking to push the quality of the show up. Yes. We're always looking to boost ourselves yep. and make make this show a little bit more than what it is. So, because yes. it's in a similar vein to mm -hmm. obviously, like we again this year, we did our thumbnails. Mm -hmm. As soon as we started showing our faces, yeah, we now have our faces on thumbnails, mm -hmm. uh, very badly on purpose, exposed. Yes, yeah, <laughs> on everything. Yep. Um, Even though I feel like that's funny, the bit, I, I still get the I still get the kick out of looking at the one in Doom when I'm the guild navigator and you're the emperor. That one is still incredibly funny to me. So much that you put it on my birthday card this yes. year, and I still have that. That's still a moment. That's the one birthday card I've kept. Um, so I'm like, I'm not going to change that. Are there any of are, are there any of them that you're proud of? That you're especially at, proud of. Getting up. Okay. So we started it with the Doom one is the funniest one though. I'll, I'll obviously, that is the best one. Yeah. Probably because I asked you to do it, but also so we started with. He started, man, he started Ms. Marvel, Ms. Marvel, didn't he? Which is us sat in a classroom. Watching Ms. Marvel. Yeah. That is, man then is, man, that is funny I, as well. The man, that Man vs. B one is funny. I like the Man vs. B one. I don't know B how one. you did that. but It's just our faces. You just cut it. Just, it was cut yeah, but it's like the Man vs. B thumbnail yes. of Rowan Atkinson looking over the at the B. Uh, Ms. That second Ms. Marvel one's not great. Mm -hmm. uh, Dune is pretty good. Dune is pretty good. We put effort into that. Lego Star Wars didn't have it. No, it doesn't have it. That's pretty funny. You Solo, made me Chewbacca. Yeah. That, I think that's the one with the chapters, I believe. It could that be. Did, I think it does have it. Okay. She helps right. pretty cool. You make us green. That's I, I like the Clash of the Castle one so much that you've that you've edited your face to do Roman Reigns' pose there. I took a specific picture. picture yeah, that. I know you did. I noticed. <laughs> we should probably, after this, we should probably do some kind of photo shoot with this green yeah. screen behind well, us. The thing is, so to pull away the curtain here... In fact, we will. Um... So I edit everything. So yes. I'm, I'm the, like, Corey is the editor. I'm the thumbnail guy. And so a lot of it, so we did a photo shoot like months ago. Yeah, when we first started to use the camera. Um, and we just took those different pictures of like us posing for like websites and mm. stuff. Like, way oh, whatever, posing stuff. I've just taken them pictures. With those noises as well. Way oh, whatever. Exactly. Uh, I've taken them pictures and just put I cut our faces off. Mm. But obviously because I edit the thumbnails, I have the ability to go... I need a certain picture, so I'm just going to pull a face really quickly and take pictures. Mm. What, that one? Yes. Yes. That helped because we, I, we took pictures, I had long hair, and then, like, not long after that, in normal me fashion, whenever I get a picture taken, I went cut my hair off. Yeah, me too. I've, shaved, I've, I've pretty much cut my hair as well. Because so. uh, when I started uni, I had long hair, and mm. my student ID, I've got long hair, two months later, I've cut it off. Okay. Um, but I, I, think, I think Man vs. B is my favourite. I'm going to say do that. Even though you making me the dwarf is pretty funny in, in, yes. in Power of the Ring. Um, so in a similar vein to that, I think because I see uh, because there's been a stuff changing as well. Because I see we were students. When you're mm -hmm. students, you have access to equipment, yeah. like editing software. Mm -hmm. Because we're not students anymore, I even had to figure it out. So we like little, I don't even know what you call it, the square around us. Yeah, doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Because I'm now trying to find a new way of doing it in the new software that I have. Right. Okay. Um, so that's also changing. But it's just trying to find ways of just bumping it up yeah. content-wise. And how do we push ourselves a bit? I hope this is interesting. I hope this is some level of interesting for the people that are listening to this, that's watching this. It's a behind-the-scenes. Because it's a behind-the-scenes kind of year review. We, yeah. we, I think we're taking it in a different direction. Because I know that I know that mainly if one of these year reviews is, oh, well, how did we improve this year? And yeah. how did we... What are we going to change for next year? I think this is like a natural progression of... Of how will we improve? It's like the, it's like you know evolution. The draft has to have a tall neck to get to the tall branches. We want to have a guest. What do we do? We plan for guests that are that are near us, that are reasonable, that are interested in things that we're interested in, or that we've covered things that we've talked about. You know, that do things that we've talked about or covered. Yes. And they they'll be more receptive when we say, hey, can we have an interview? Can we have? Can we speak to someone? Yeah. 
You see, the thing is, was well, our first year. Or first year. or Alex Lightman. Do you remember that? Yes. View, long time viewers will um, listeners will know that we reviewed a video game. A what would you call it? Kind of like one of those Telltale ones, like a put not like yeah. a point and click adventure, like a video kind of video game. Mm-hmm. They called it some pretentious thing, like a like a videography experience or something. Yeah, right? yeah. We had a review of it probably under there. A dark, is it called Dark Book or Light? Whatever Night it's book. called, Night Book. Oh, called Night Book. I always call it Dark Book. Anyway, yeah, there it is. Night Book. Yeah, you look it. You look it up. That's the one. It's yeah. like an, it's like um, one of those point and click kind of dialogue tree adventures that are live action. That people there's one called Contradiction that I really love. I kind of want to play somehow with you. Right. I think it'll be dead funny. It's called Contradiction Spot the Liar, and it's kind of like this, but it's not like a horror one. It's like a detective one. Yeah. And I think it's dead funny. There's also one called um, Doctor Decker and the something something. But uh, uh, those I find those games quite funny, and we we played it. Well, both of us with this Xbox code. And I, you had a PS4 code. Yes. Xbox code. We played it exclusively. We yep. had an early review copy, which is lovely. Uh, we played through it. Then we actually got to speak to the director. Yes. I wanted to speak to Colin Salmon, who was in the game, but we never we didn't get to speak to Colin Salmon. We got to speak to the director, Alex Lightman. Yep. Who was very kind and very uh, friendly and very uh, accepting. He was a very busy man, obviously. Yep. But it was wonderful to, to talk to him. Uh, I very much enjoyed it. And I feel like we should do something more like that, where we go to, like, what do you have that's that's that we can review and look at yeah. so we can have a better taste of, like, you know, if you're going to come onto the show and if you're going to speak to us? Yeah, I think the thing was is we had... So we had an initial guest. Um, we had Jack Shelbourne, we had Chris mm-hmm. Hainstock, uh, who were former lecturers of ours. Mm. And so they, they were easy to bring on. They knew who we were. We talked to them before. Yeah. Um, then we had Nick Briggs. Even though Chris Hainstock didn't really seem to like his experience on the um, show. But then we had Nick Briggs. Which is funny because Jack Shelbourne did. Yes. Uh, but we had Nick Briggs, who is a big enough name. Probably the biggest name we've had. But it is. Sorry, Alex Lightman, but probably the biggest name that we've had. Um, but when, Even though most people won't know him if you tell him, if you say, we interviewed Nick Briggs. Yes. Who's that? The guy that voiced the Daleks on Doctor Who. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've had that conversation 200 times. So have I. The issue with Nick Briggs is, once you get someone like Nick Briggs, you, you kind of can't go down in guess. You can't go, okay, let's bring on another lecturer. Yeah. So you're going down. He's trying to go higher than that. Which what's is, higher than Nick Briggs? Exactly. Not Benji Clifford. Benji Clifford's a level below him. Well, Sorry, then, Benji. Well, then we had Alex Lightman, right? Who came to Siren? We didn't even go to him. No. So he came to Siren. He was looking for interviews, effectively. Yes, and uh, it was like it's a game and it's a film. And, and we were a video game film show. Yeah. You know, we went down his alley. Yes. So it got passed down to us, and we went, yeah, cool, we'll do it. Yeah. Um, and we had a fun time. Had a good interview. It was it was good. I think I surprised him with the fact I knew I knew that film that he'd made. Yeah. Probably because under the table I was looking at his IMDb on my phone. And I was like, "Oh, he's made a film. Ask him about that." But it's if we can do stuff like that. If there's any like, I don't know how you do it though. Trying to find like stuff that's coming out where, yeah. we, can, where we can kind of go, "Hey, can we like help the press release or whatever? Like, yeah, can we like, yeah. it's, can we help you out or can we like get a, a, a snippet or a tra- mm-hmm. uh, whatever a tra- trailer?" I guess we look out. for like film festivals, I suppose. Yes, we have spoken about that the, before. Look for film festivals and go there and view and review We've films and spoke about kind of get some on the scene on the scene reporting yeah. almost. We've spoken about going around and just bringing a mic film with us and just yeah. recording it. The real show on the scene interviewing yeah. the newest film director, yes. uh, you know, which is an option. Um, it is an option. I've done that before. A what? When have you done that before? I was part of. Uh, when I was at college, mm-hmm. um, a couple of my friends had a podcast about film. Right. This isn't my first rodeo. Oh, God, no. Uh, I, I was a guest. So, um, you were a guest? Yeah. What we, had you done? So, we, we, you know, we went to an Aesthetica Film Festival. Oh, right. Which, if you're at any media course, you will you know. You will go, yes. Um, and they did, essentially did the same thing. But everyone went. Now, they didn't record at Aesthetica, which I kind of wish they did, and just brought a microphone and talked mm. to people. But afterwards, they were like, oh, I went to go see the fashion films, or the yeah. you know, art films, or the horror films. And you thought, what are the independent films you've watched? Uh-huh. Um, so I was a guest on that. I, was to, I went to go watch the fashion films, because mm. I had a friend who was making a fashion film. Mm. So we all went. Um, What's a fashion film? They're like... You know how like you get fashion adverts where like someone wearing like a suit and I would like what one of them was a woman wearing a dress. You walk through a mirror and all of a sudden she's in like Victorian England, like a, a big ball. Right. You know how like can I get an adverts where like like 
like fragrance adverts, which are a bit Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah, right. They kind of tell a story. It's like, oh, oh, right, I a, see. Here's a woman dancing, and it's all you know, buy this fragrance. It's like that, but yeah. five minutes long. Okay, sure. Um, one was essentially a gift. It's on loop. Mm. I'm not even joking. Um, so we reviewed them. So you might do something similar to that. Might go to a local film festival, mm. go around and be like, hey, we've got we've got lanyards. Mm. We should have official cards soon. We can tell them who we are. We're a local radio station. Uh, you know, you got a, you got mm. a film coming out, doing the festival rounds. Come talk to us, and we'll talk about it on air. Esteemed Scottish director Mikey Murray, who I have a quite good relationship with, yep. who's also made his first film, uh, Mindset, that was out in uh, theatres. You can Correct. find that it was recently. Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. I watched it. Went to the cinema in Nottingham, and I watched it. Went to the Broadway. Is it on? Uh, is it on anywhere yet? Or is it still doing festival stuff? Um, I think he's just finished the festival stuff, actually. Oh, so it might be on somewhere soon. It might be on somewhere soon. But DVD copy, who knows? Let's have a look, see. See if it's on anywhere. That, right. Net, well, I've worked with him many times before. Mm -hmm. And he has a film festival that runs uh, right here where we're based. Correct. And I feel like we could easily go there and get started. See what he brings in. Say, hey, can you work with us on this? Yep. It'll be, it'll, I think it'll be a lot of fun for us to do. And that's right, that's right about February, so a couple of months. Yeah, it is. As well as that, our, our most recent... Um, sorry, our nearest sort of comedy sort of slash dance venue here where we're based, the Engine Shed, that's uh, hosting a pro wrestling event in where you're going with that. a couple of months. Yeah, in February, starring not only John Morrison, but also his wife Ty Valkyrie, Ruby Soho... Session Moss Martina, you know, really big. Eliza Alexander from NXT UK, you know, quite big names. I was hoping we could, you know, fork out some Christmas money for, to go and see that in February. It's a possibility. I mean, you know, it's one of those things where you have to, again, like we said before, Even though front row seats are 55 quid, yes. I think that's a bit extortionate. Um, we're going to have to sit down and pretty much... Plan that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any, like, events that are happening? Events, yeah. We're going to have to book it out and go, right, cool. Like, like you said, with um, with Mike and Moore and the local film festival, we know when that happens. Yeah. And so at some point next year, we could probably go, right, okay, we want to come to festival, Mikey, before it happens, you know, can we do some, some yeah. press? Some press? Can we do some, yeah. Can we walk around with lanyards? And Vox Pops, yeah, you know. Exactly. And record Whereas something like a wrestling show like that might be just going, buying tickets and going there. Yes. And then the week after, reviewing it. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, there's... There's been a lot or of taking the footage, or bringing a camera and taking some footage, and then showing the footage, then talking us talking about it. Yeah, there's been a lot of kind of back and forth with stuff like that and planning out and stuff. Yeah. Um, there will be a lot of I think more in-person stuff or reaction stuff. Or yeah. Kind of trying to do extra bonus little clips that aren't the mm. real show, just to give a bit more content, put us out there a bit more, and mm. kind of push forward with the whole. And kind of re and kind of. This whole rebranding thing and, yes. and making hopefully. sure we're all up to date on the. Uh, hopefully. Updating those graphics. Yes. The rebrand will be soon and we'll be kicking off the new year. We will do. I feel like that's that's an aim. Yeah. For the start of next year, we want to get the rebrand, we want to get our social media back up. We want to get all of that on the run again. Yeah, so you just want to be on Twitter again. I do just want to be on Twitter again. <laughs> so you want to just want to be on Twitter again. I know, I do just want to be on Twitter again. We're gonna, before Elon Musk shuts it down, I want to get my five minutes of fame, you know what I mean? <laughs> You want, you want to go on Twitter and you want to tweet at people. Yeah. Uh, under the name of The Real Show. Yes. That's what you want to do. Because I represent The Real Show, obviously. You represent The Real Show on Twitter. I'm on, Twitter on Twitter, yes, yeah. I do. I've got I've got the Instagram. You have got the Instagram? Yeah. What have you been doing on that? Nothing. Nothing, exactly. Because nothing's been happening on Twitter. Exactly. Because <laughs> our social media's gone. I think, well, well, I think our social media... I, th I think I realised that one tweet a day was a bit too much for me. Yeah. I feel like we should probably only... Tweet about what's coming out for us. Well, yeah, I mean, the other issue was, I was like, and social oh. media is a very big elephant in the room, which yeah. I'm not really open to address at this point, but I guess we're on it. Well, let's talk about it. I mean, I, I was also just like, oh, I we could post like a, oh, like we're a little little teasers for episodes, or, but I'm like, well, we don't show our faces, and I'm like, I don't really want to show That'd be anything. be hard to do. But you know those YouTube shorts? They're doing those now. Yeah. They're trying to do like Vine or TikTok or something like that. They're trying to have yeah. a competitor to that called YouTube Shorts. Yeah. And I see a lot of popular YouTubers posting uh, little funny <laughs> clips. And, call it, and making it a YouTube short. Yes. But is that too hard to do? It's not hard to do, but there's an issue with that. What's that? We need to be funny. Good point. Yeah. Good point there. <laughs> we do need to be funny. Yeah. Are we funny? I don't know. In, you don't know? Well, that's because no one tells us if we're funny. Exactly. 
I think we're funny. I think we're pretty funny. I think long form. Long form, we're funny. Yeah, but it's in that short, fi- like five, ten right, seconds. Right, okay, all right, all right. Are we quick-witted? Are we quick oh, You've got quick wit. Have I? Yeah. I don't know, I couldn't catch it. You've got quick wit. It's too fast, there's no flies on me, you know yeah. what I'm like. You know what I'm like. I don't even know what we'd have. I don't know either, like, but I'll tell you what we will have. Yeah. A break for a few minutes. And then we'll resume in when we'll resume and we'll see you shortly. So we hope you enjoy this uh, slight interlude. <laughs> and we're back. Hello. Welcome back to The Real Show. This is yes. part two of our New Year's celebration. Corey's still with me. How are you finding it now, Corey? What great music we had. I know, amazing. I love music. Now. I love ba- insert band here. I, yes, I love insert song here. Yeah. I love insert music here. I don't know if it's funnier to overdub me actually saying the band. Or what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to say it like in a really dull tone. Yeah. Like if we play, um, I'm trying to think of a band and all bands have left me right now. It's like if we play, I don't know, Fallout Boy. Yeah. And you've got to say, oh, I, I really love Fallout Boy. Yeah. And, and, it, and it's amazing. I really like their song, Centuries. Yeah. You know, you, you've just got to say it in a, like, you're Patrick Stewart. If I, right, right. What, okay, what I want you to do is, I want you to, I want you to say, I really love. Okay. And just mouth random gibberish. Right, but don't okay. say anything, just mouth it. Right, okay, right. I really love. Phil Collins. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Phil Collins! <laughs> What's wrong with Phil Collins? No, it's the fact you said, it's the fact you said, how do everyone Phil Collins? There's nothing wrong with Phil Collins. I know there's nothing wrong with Phil Collins, easy lover. Exactly. Why did you, what? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do anything. I wasn't expecting you to do anything. I thought you'd leave it blank and do something funny in post. No, do it for now. Do, do it now. I didn't <laughs> think I'd do it now. I'd be like, oh, I'll do it, and then it'll do something funny in post. I'm like, oh, right. I really love it. And I just hear you go, Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the background. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We've got to do it in the reverse now. Yeah. What do you mean to do it? No, I, I, I've not thought anything funny yet, so we'll leave, so we'll leave it for a minute. We'll speak for a minute, and then okay. when I think of something funny... Let me know when you got it. Right, now. okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, no, I've got it now. Okay, have you got it now? Yeah, what do you want to say? Do you want to say, um... Every day, I listen to... <laughs> and then, blank speech, and I'll do, and I'll do it. If I'm not right, we'll do, we'll do it for the out... Right, is it, is, it, is it an artist you would play? Yeah. Yes, it is. You, you would I like this song, yeah. Okay. We'll, do, we'll do it at the end. I'll say, at the end, like, we're going to close with, and then... Oh. No, but you've got to say the line. You've got to say, every day I listen to... We're going to close with, and every day I listen to, and then I'll, I'll do it. Fine. Can you, agree, can you agree to do that for me? Sure. Now, <laughs> as for now... As for now, we're still continuing with our discussion on the real our last year what we hope for the future yes our year in review effectively is what this is going to be yeah big two hours the big two hours the big two hour bash let's call it that sure the real is like we're a wrestling review let's call it the the the, the real show great year back great anniversary bash why not sure why not what do you think of that not great. Should we talk about our, 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 this is the theme? This is the theme for this part. Okay. Let's talk about our sort of avenues of interest. Okay. And how we have developed parts of the real show, and how our frequent themes keep coming up. Like I find we talk about three things very often. Can you guess these three things already? Because I'm going to say them. Wrestling. Correct. Uh, which gave us sort of spawned out of nowhere, really. Yeah. There was a time where when. I liked wrestling a lot, but didn't like talking about it. And then when I met you, and we sort of started to talk about it together, yeah. I started talking about it more. Yes. And you probably realised that I knew more and more the more I was speaking about it. Did you realise that? Yeah. Uh, I distinctively remember um, back in yeah, two years ago now, mm-hmm. or whatever it is, before we started doing the real shows, I probably because in three years ago soon, um, me and you were, were heading to Morrison's. 
Oh god, yeah. Of the shops were available. Um, you were just near Morrison's. Mm. And it kept coming up. You've started doing that now. Have you started doing it because I do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it just kept coming up. I remember we spoke about wrestling and then mm. we kept having this whole thing of like... I don't want to talk about Randy Orton. One, one, of us, one of us would say something and not realise the other person likes the thing that we're talking about. Yeah. And I was like, oh wait, you like that as well. And it was like, we were like, everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's just everything. Yeah. There's been, a, there's been a few things where we've kind of both disagreed on something. Yes. Um, but wrestling's one of them. That's one. You've yeah. got two more. Uh, you'll get them at the same time, I imagine. Right. You will. As soon as you get one, you get the other. Uh, okay, what else did we talk about a lot? I'm assuming it's not to do with, like, film. It is. Star Wars. Yes. Right. Okay. You'll get the third one in a few seconds. Phil Collins. No, it's not Phil Collins. Okay. Easy lover. Samuel Jackson. Close. <laughs> You're close for Samuel Jackson. You're not too far off. Really bad impressions. I do like those, but no. Am I close with Sam Jackson? You're close with Sam Jackson? Am I close with Sam Jackson? What's Sam Jackson been in? It's just not Star Wars. Star, it's not Star Wars. It's not Marvel. Mace. Me, Windy, there you go. Oh, okay. Told you it wasn't too far. Okay. Those three topics pop up quite a lot. Yes. We do Marvel shows. We do Star Wars shows. Yeah. We do stuff. We have a whole month dedicated to Star Wars. We, we do. don't have Marvel month. We should no. probably make that. Well, we had March, May. We had no May. Star Wars May. month. We can't probably May. We had Star Wars month, and then we just started doing Star Wars anyway. Yeah. We just started. I feel like. I feel it's like because like things come out after May. What's the thing? I feel like Star Wars month was meant to be our right. We'll do Star Wars in May, and then that's it. Because we won't we'll do any more. We'll, we'll and then much. a couple months later, we go. Bad Batch is coming out now. Yeah. Why don't we just do that? The issue is though, but because we cover Star Wars stuff outside of May, we run out of Star Wars stuff to do in Star Wars. In May, yeah, we do, yeah. But I feel like if we wait, then it will, <laughs> the moment will pass. Yeah. And then we won't have any more time to talk about it. It may have to somewhere down the line just become like Star Wars week. <laughs> Star Wars week, yeah. Well, that's we have one week, one show a week where we just go, oh, yeah, where we cover yeah. all the recent stuff that's come out in Star Wars. Because we're running out of stuff. Because well, we're last... not really. We're we're kind of in the paradox of we are we're running out of stuff. We don't have enough stuff to talk about. Yeah, because last year. Well, well, this year's Star Wars month, I think it was like background characters and Star Wars theories. It was like nothing, yeah. no actual Star Wars, it's like films. Yeah, but that's fun though. I find that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Look, we reviewed Phantom Menace in Star Wars month, didn't was that we? Star Wars month? I think that was, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. I think if you look, you'll find that I, we did review Star Wars, Phantom Menace. And Star Wars. We, had, we had planned to do the whole prequels. We only got as far as the first one. Yes. Because by the rest of the time, we'd already done... Yes. By the time we'd done our segment things, like 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 background characters... Like ships and, and all this kind of thing. Yeah. By the time we've covered all of the law, let's call it. By the time we've covered all of the law, we'd we'd forgotten that we've had to be reviewing films. Yes. And we just we just didn't review the prequels. No. So probably next next May we'll do Attack of the Clones. Yes. And then the rest of the other, you know, eight eight you know favorite characters, however many top we did, top five I think. Yeah. Top five background characters, Bidlow, Quirve, and all that. Right. That wasn't Star Wars month. Was not Bidlow Quiff not Star Wars month? No, you're shaking your head. That's oh, album, but I can't believe that. Nope. Uh, we did do background characters, but it wasn't that one. It was it was another one. Was it? I can't believe that. Yeah. No, um, I refuse to believe that. That was in Star Wars month, surely. No. Where's our Where's our Star Wars month? Uh, is it here? Yeah, like Kenobi one? comes out. We do Kenobi. Yeah, that wasn't Star Wars month either. Here we Star go. Wars month was. Are you sure this is Star Wars month? Maybe. Clone Wars, Clone Wars again. Does not it's fan- there, I feel like. Yeah, but it's There's it? Phantom Menace. Yeah. There's background characters. I feel like our Star Wars month is basically the culmination of like two weeks. Yeah. And we have other things come out. We do Kenobi and we do the Clone yeah. Wars and I feel like I don't know why Moonlight's just in the middle of there, but I suppose it is. Is it because it finished? It finished, yeah, and we had to cover it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like with Andor. Again, because I don't yeah, yeah, because I don't really want to wait, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because Andor and Survivor Series both came near to December, so we so we just did it in December. Yes. That's why we sacrificed our, our Christmas month to a yep. Christmas trio of... Technically, this counts. Yeah. This is New Year's. Technically, this counts as Christmas. Yep. When, what's your uh, ruling for that? What do you mean? Like, when do you kind of stop doing Christmas? After Boxing Day. Really? Yeah. It's that instant? Yeah. Um, After Boxing Day is concluded, I go, right, Christmas is over. Yep. I go, Christmas is over, now on to New Year's. Really? Yeah. You don't seem to link them both? No. Oh. And like Christmas is done, New Year's now. Oh, and some then, some people do. And then once New Year's is done, I don't know about after that actually because it's not really a holiday. So it's Valentine's Day, but you know, that's genuine. We can't. Yeah, I know. 
But I'm trying, there's not really any other horror days until that. No, I got a birthday in January, maybe. No, no I don't. But that's, that's, I classify it as like a week before and a week after. Okay. Like, you know, when, when, I, I, the weeks are passing me by very quickly at the minute, so I wouldn't really be able to know. It's your old age. But exactly. Oh my goodness, it's Christmas in two weeks. Yeah, I know. Even though I'm older than you. On the, yeah. On the, on, on the 12th, it will be two weeks to Christmas. Yeah. No. One thing we stopped doing. What? Is uh, making, and we can't do it now, because obviously the audience can see me, and they mm. can see that I'm not an old man. Right. As a, we stopped making the audience think I was really old by saying I was born in, like, 1979. That's when we stopped naming the songs, because we realised yeah. that if we name songs, it'll immediately date us, everyone, and they realise yeah. that this is, in fact, a radio show, yeah. and not a podcast or a programme. It also ran out of stuff to say. You ran out of stuff to say? Yeah. When I'd ask you how you, what year it was like, you'd run out of words to say. Yeah. And also to trick you by saying this song was from 1985. What was that year like, Corey? Yeah. And Corey would say, that, Phil that, Collins. Very good hot dogs. Yeah, okay. Very good hot dogs. Which was one of the things that I said. Was it? Yes. Okay, I think sure. One, I think it's one of the ones where I remember going, I've got nothing else to say at this point. Okay. <laughs> I think you may have said that to me off the air. You may have said, I've, I can't say much on that anymore. Oh, right, okay, sure. You ran yeah. out of words. Yes. You just look at the, dict- look at the thesaurus, sorry, and say, Yeah. Uh, I would, or I'd, I'd, if we knew what songs we were playing, I would try and look at what happened in that year. We stopped doing the. We also stopped doing the news, Corey. We did stop doing the that news. stopped two. Yeah, that stopped about a year and a half ago when we started. We did the news for like three episodes, and then we just stopped doing it. Probably because yeah. I got bored of looking at n- film news sites and picking off stuff that looked interesting to me. I realised going, oh well, it's fine. People know the news already. If there's news, was, we'll talk about it. It was part of that, and it was also partly because we used to record like Saturday. Before, like a week before the episode came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So we cover news, and then, like a few years later. And then Sean Connery would pass away. Well, you're yeah, that. But it would be like more <laughs> news. Like, it would be so dated. It would be dated. So old. Exactly, I realised that. Yeah. Because of our recording schedule, we would be completely, the news would be dated, it would be out of date. Yeah. Often I'd find I'd find a story, we'd say it, and then a week later we'd go, well, this has already happened, or this yeah. is not true anymore, or yeah. it's already come out, or whatever. So I'd. Uh, <laughs> I just thought it was kind of, there was no reason to do it anymore. It had become irrelevant. Yeah, the news got scrapped. Yeah, exactly. The it news did get scrapped, yeah. And the, the, out of many things that have gotten scrapped in our, in our real show careers, I will miss news the less. <laughs> God, don't look it up, Corey. Stop. Stop. Don't type. Don't you type anything. Stop typing. Don't you click the search bar. I'm going to look away now. Uh, Corey's, Corey's looking at our uh, uh, defunct... Social media account listeners, and I'm mm. going to talk about something Just else. I'm curious what the last thing we did was. You do, not, you do not get a look. What's, oh, I think it was me probably in some sort of saddened state going, oh, I'm really, I'm really <laughs> sad. It, yeah, it's really is. Don't read it aloud. It's, it's, it's not, it's just you saying how hot it is. How hot I am? No, how hot. I am it, hot. How hot it is. Oh. The weather. The weather. A year ago. The weather is, it was hot a year ago. It was yeah. probably very hot a year ago. Probably because I was incredibly frustrated with how hot it was. I was like, oh, please just let it end. Because, because we had that summer in England where it was just completely unbearable. Yeah. And where it was not hot. And I'm, I'm a bit hot now and I'm in a jumper and, a, and we're in this very small room and it's very condensed and we're breathing a lot. So I hope you don't have any viruses. But what? And we're breathing. Like we don't breathe a lot anyway. <laughs> no. Well, when you're <laughs> over a desk, I'm not going to worry. <laughs> When you're over a desk, I'm not going to worry about you, Corey. Right. But but now you're here next to me, it's, yeah. you know I can see that massive line in your head. Yes. So where did you get that from? What, oh, that one. Yeah. That one. Yeah, it is there. Yeah, that one. Where did that come Couldn't from? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. What do you mean you can't tell me? Yes, you can. I don't know. You don't know? No. It just appeared one day. Always had it. Always had it. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Has no one ever asked you about it before? No. Surely people must have. Nope. Really. Hmm. It's you're, like my, it's you're like, forgetting the fact that nine times out of ten I've had long hair. Yeah, it covers it up. <laughs> well, my friend Toby had a had a had a scar that was here. Yep. It was a little one, mm-hmm. and it's when he fell it's when he fell down the stairs as a child cracked his head open. See, I see. I've not done that. I've not. I know for a fact I've not done that. I don't know. It could it, it could be from. It wouldn't surprise me if it's from like falling over or just doing something dumb as a kid. Right. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me. Maybe it's you know the, sometimes the doctor breaks your nose when you're a baby. Do you know that? No. When you're born and you're a little and you're a little plush little baby, fragile little soft baby man. Yeah. The doctor, like, when he holds you, he might like push his no- push his thumb into your nose and break your nose. Oh. And that why some people come out with like screwed up noses and have to have them fixed. Oh. And so I don't know. 
I don't want us to indicate you were dropped at birth. What's, what's that got to do with my what? head? Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to indicate. But maybe the doctor like put his hand on your head and like accidentally like. In all fairness, I probably just have a weird shaped head. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's got a line on my head. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe, and it's probably not picking up on the camera. Maybe you've got one, but it's like up here. Maybe. So I, actually, you know what? I've only got one crown. So there you go. <laughs> you've only got one crown. Yeah. Do people have more than one crown? Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they do. Oh. People don't. I think people don't have two crowns. I think. Do they? Yeah. Huh. One at the back and then one at like. Next, I don't know. I've, I've always, I've always been told that my hair was a weird, was weird hair. Your hair was weird hair. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Because it's because it's. I think it's a bit like my dad's, a bit like my mum's, but it's the worst part of both. My mum's grows out to be quite thick, and mine's quite thick when it grows out. Right. But also, it's not got like. It gets quite, um, quite straight and doesn't curl up very much. Oh, That's okay. like my dad's. So yeah, I've kind of got the worst attributes of both of my parents, which is nice. Which is also very telling, I think. Yeah. In fact, where's the um, where's our first episode? Where's what was our first episode where we saw each other on camera? Cats. Wait, no, sorry, that was our first episode ever. Um, I believe it was. Oh, it wasn't the Clone Wars. It was wasn't Hell in a Cell. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I think it was. I know. It'd be Miss Marvel. It was Miss Marvel. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, look at us, look at us there. Let's have actually let, let's let's analyse here. I wonder if you can show a picture up on the screen, people. Yes. But for people who were people to, there you go, pause that there, look. I mean people see right. the picture at the end of every single episode. Yeah. Because that course. picture was taken the same day this was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well this is amazing here, people. We're gonna have an, we're gonna analyse this. This is our section of where we analyse ourselves. Yeah. This is from Ms. Marvel. When did this when did this come out? Uh four months ago. Four months ago. This is me and me and Corey at our desk yep. at, our, at our at our stations here. Corey has incredibly long hair. Yes, he's got a sort of not as much as the sort of manly beard that you see on him now. He's it's sort a of little bit biker beard he's wearing at the minute. Sure. He's got kind of a little 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 patch down here, yeah, little patch at the chin. It's not quite, and kind of it sort of spreads to yeah. spreads to the sides there, a little bit up, a little bit of the sideburns. Me, look at that baby face. Yeah. I've got no hair whatsoever on myself. On my on my on my face, that is. You're gonna say um, you have hair up here. Yeah, I have hair up here. Of course, I have hair up here. I'm not bald. You have got longer hair up here. Yeah, long hair up here. I've it's it's much shorter now, obviously. Yes. But I've got long hair up here so much that it always makes that little tuft up there look. You can see my headphones. It makes I the find headphone really tough. Funny. It, I don't know why. I don't know what's happened, but I swear that it's gotten worse over the years. The tuft. Yeah. I might the tough may have gotten worse over the years. Because I was, I was looking no, back. Let's at look at the let's look at the dress code for a minute. Yeah. You are wearing. Uh, I wonder if we can play this I'm... without it, uh, the audio showing. But yeah, you're, you're wearing right. you're wearing a burgundy sh sort of quarter sleeve shirt. There. It's not quarter sleeve. I've rolled sleeves up. All right, rolled sleeves up. Okay. <laughs> you got your forearms out. I have. Uh, me, I'm wearing what can only be described as sort of a picnic table topper. On my chest. There you go, look at that. Video version. Video version. The video version. It that that's I hate saying that now. Yeah, I don't don't do the arm. <laughs> that laptop doesn't even work. That's not that's a, that's a fake prop. I my my collar's done way too up high. Yeah. I'm moving my hands around like a fool. I look like I've got a I've, I look like I've got some kind of beer belly chest because of the way I'm sitting. Yeah. Look at how I'm sitting. Look. I mean. What what is that down there? Yeah, I mean this the is the camera is the camera is normally angled a bit higher than this now, yeah. so you can't really see my crotch area. Yeah, I mean this is the same same day where all the pictures got taken. Yeah. So the picture you see at the end is the same thing, except are you wearing your suit jacket or you've just got your shirt in that picture? I've taken. Um, I think I'm wearing my suit jacket in my picture. Where is it? You are. Yes, I am. I'm wearing my tie as well. Yes. My black clip-on tie. Yes. Um, do you know why that's there? What the the speaker? No, 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 the bit at the end. No, the picture at the end. Why? Uh, because I'm pretty certain it's here, for one of two reasons. One, because I wanted the end card, and I didn't want to be yeah. honest talking. But also, two, I wanted to change it to a different picture every single time. Right. Didn't happen. It's always been the same one. I like that picture. You know what? That is a really good picture. Um, That's very representative of us. I think also. Pop out my shirts on top. Yeah. I think also. And my hair looks weird. That's the hair you had that day. I, mean, I, I know. I've got long hair in that You've one. got a hat on, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but you can still see hair. Also, was your hat backwards? No. In that picture, are you no, sure? Yeah. The long rim looks like it's at the back. No, because you can see the dent in the front. Oh, yeah, okay. You can see a little, little dent. Um, I hate that hat. What? Do you hate that hat? I like that hat. I only bought it because I was like, it's in Jones. It's close enough hat. Oh, uh, okay. 
I thought um, we were going for The Undertaker, really. Well, like, well, like you know, the long brim hat when he... Yeah. No, I was, not, I was not going for The Undertaker. Okay, you were going for The Undertaker. Um, but, I mean, I mean, I mean look, look at M2, and then a well, four, four months later... Look at me now. I've still got that spot on my, on my chin. That's not going to win. I, I have no... Oh, I have very short hair. You have a long... You've got more of a man's beard now. Yeah. It's really made you look, you know, intimidating. You look, uh, you don't look much different in honestly. You've got short hair. Short hair. Less less of a side part along the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all kind of melded now, I think. And you have it, well, you have most stuff, I don't know if it appears on camera. Does it? Probably not. Because you're blonde. Yeah, well, when it, gets, when it gets longer, it'll get darker now. Yeah. I can feel it up there, though, which is nice. I've got to the stage where you can sort of feel the moustache sort of there, the presence of the moustache. I did it, initially, I did it for Movember. Yes. I thought, but then I realised I can't grow a moustache in an entire month because no. it was doing nothing because I've never actually grown hair. I always, I always, I'm always a clean-shaven boy, so I don't actually grow hair. But when I've decided, I've decided I want to grow hair, so I want to grow a moustache. I thought I'll grow it through. I'll, you know what? I'll grow it through to December. Right. If it don't work in January, I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. If I if I get, if it gets to January in the next two weeks, it doesn't get any longer. I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of it. So you're doing my plan, which is what? That was my plan. Oh what? I I started growing my beard. Your beard. Uh, well, technically, I've always had a little bit, but I, I stopped shaving it in um, October. Right. And then it got to November, and I thought, well, it's November, so I won't shave. Yeah, of course. So then it grew two months, and then it thought, you know what, I'm going to leave it till December. Right. Till New Year's, and if I like it at New Year's, I'll leave it. Yeah, but I like it now. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you like it now. I do like it now. Yes, but if um, I'll be like, if it, if it gets, I'll leave it till December. See what it's like at three months, and then I'll. Do with it what I would have been Right. Currently, I'm going to leave it. Yeah, me too. I'd leave it. Um, That's but, you now. But you never know. But that was, my, that was my plan. Okay. I was also going to shave my head at New Year's, but I did that early. Okay, sure. Yeah. I've got a shaved head. Excellent. Well, my plan was for... for you slap your bold head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, Corey. <laughs> Simon Miller, you know. Yeah. No, it's yeah, why. Good sound, yeah. yeah. It's a great sound. Give it a golden up. <laughs> I bet you... I, I bet it's a no, great brown, sound. A brown down. Like you're, doing, like you're doing it in bed at night. You're sat there going... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's how I wake up. <laughs> what? How do you wake up? Like, show me how you wake up in the morning. Okay, so I'm laying down. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm laying down. Right. For the benefit of the of the, of the the listener, Corey's re- reclined in his chair like that. <laughs> do you always sleep like you're in a sarcophagus? Yeah. Why put your hands... Mm. <laughs> Put your hands like that! It's like you're gonna wake up like you're in a coffin. Oh, Corey, when he was alive, ah, oh, oh, I miss him. When he's like, it's like you got an open casket funeral. Why your hands? You don't sleep on your side. You sleep on your side either, apparently. No, I do, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that in a chair, am I? Oh, this is me asleep. <laughs> For the benefit of the view, you've got to take some liberties here, man. Okay, right, take some liberties then. Right, I'm asleep. Yeah. And then... Do you always smile like that when you're asleep? Oh, all the time. Having a pleasant, pleasant dream, probably. <laughs> oh, great, yeah. Why are your hands down there? Shut up. I can't deal with the fact your hands are like this, like you're in a business meeting. <laughs> Fine. Straight down. Okay. Right, straight down. Pencil straight. And I'm like, mm, and my alarm goes off. Yeah. Right. Bring, bring. Bring, bring. I'm like, oh, I wake up. Bring, bring. Oh, turn your bring, alarm bring. off. Yep. Oh. Oh, big stretch. Yeah. Oh, nice. There, you get up. there it is. And you get up. There and it is. You, I'm awake. Wow. I'm, oh. Your body doesn't do that thing where it gets you up like two minutes before your longer's off. It does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get up at 6.30, yeah. you wake up at, tw- at 6.27. Yeah. I'll, and you go, oh, my God. Yeah, I wake up two, I need to wake up like two minutes before my alarm so that I can go on my phone and turn my alarm off. <laughs> I'm like, I'm up now. I don't need the alarm. I don't need the alarm. It's two minutes beforehand. Yeah. I'll go back to bed. Always happens. Yeah. Then I'll never get those those three minutes. I'll never get yeah. back in my life. Uh, yeah, but yeah, progressively, uh, I'm probably going to end up. I, th- I think my, my whole thing was I'm going to shave my head at New Year's. Right. I did it early because I got bored. I went to a barber's. Nice. Uh, so I'm probably going to just shave it shorter and shorter. Well, okay. here's my plan. Yes. What's your plan? I was going to Birmingham Comic Con in November. Yes. We were and bo- I thought, we were well, head. Box on head, correct. Shout out to you, Kip Sabian, if you're yes. watching. And Probably not. Shout out to Woman at Media Lounge who gave Murray a box. Yeah, gave me a box <laughs> so I could paint it up and put some models in it and wear it. It was a great costume, actually. You saw pictures. Yes, it, it was a wonderful costume. But while many people recognised me, I had a lot of fun, actually. But while I was there, I thought, well, the character I'm playing has a bit of a moustache, a bit of a goatee. I'll give it a go. 
So I stopped shaving for a couple of days just to get the to get the residual hairs growing in there. And then I got the moustache coming out. But I thought, okay, I like the look of this moustache. I'll keep it, you know. And when the f convention was over, I don't know, I had a lot of time. Me and Zoe had a wonderful day. Uh, trains were a bit was a bit here and there, but who who knows? Who cares really? You know, it's a British tr train transport system. Always going to be do lally. Always going to be at willy nilly. Then I got and I looked in the mirror and I thought, you know what? Piggledy piggledy. Yeah, I don't like the the right. bottom bit, so I just decided to just get rid of it. And then every few days I'll just have a shave the bottom part. The top part I will I will still leave because I will I as I said I'm committed to keeping the mustache until Christmas. Hmm. Until New Year's. And if I don't like it, then I'll get rid of it. So you don't feel like going for like a Van Dyke? No, I don't feel like going for a Van Dyke. Okay. I don't feel like going for a soul patch either. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that off. I think my hair, my, my, also because I'm blonde. Yeah. My, you can't really see, people, blonde people don't have, you know, I'm not Richard Branson. Yes. Who actually does have a dark goatee and has blonde hair. Yeah. So I can't have a dark yeah, goatee. Yeah, you see, you haven't got the benefit of having dark hair and you haven't got the other benefit of some people who are blonde will just have darker beards. Yes. I don't the, have that either. Because your beard hair is not always the same hair as a colour on your head. Why is that? I don't know. Mine is. Because I've got black hair and black beard. Yeah, of course. But some people have like black hair and like a, a brown beard, like a light brown I have beard. found the stroking aspect to be very nice though. It's very good, isn't it? And I can sit there and I can just... Yep. That is the, that is a nice, that's a nice motion. I understand that. Yeah, but see, because you've got a moustache, you have to do that. Yeah. You haven't quite got the, like, the little chin. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, all right. <laughs> King, King Dwalin, you can't do your dwarf beard. Dwarf beards stroke. Yeah. I, mm. I wonder what's going on in the mountain today, child. Oh, I'll stroke my beard. Obi-Wan Kenobi going, hmm. To be fair, you're lucky because I have to look after this beard. Oh, right. What's your, right, right, go on then. What's your, uh, what's your beard routine? Schwarzkopf. What's your beard routine? Uh, Schwarzkopf. Yeah. Don't know if I do beard stuff, but fine. Don't, don't they? Don't know. Um, I thought they do beard routine. I use L'Oreal. Oh, right. Because you're worth it. Yeah. Um, so, wake up. You're the, are you the guy from that date night show who does the beard, beard oil ads? What date night show? That's the, the, the guy that runs the restaurant in the, in the date show on Channel 4. I know who you mean. Is he bald? Yes, he yeah. is. He's got a beard. <laughs> he looks kind of like you, actually, without the glasses. <laughs> And oh, what's it? I'm gonna find it. It's the uh, is it first dates? Yeah, first dates. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> and he has and he has that show with Gordon Ramsay and Gino DeCampo. Where he goes around yeah. in the everyone goes around in the RV in in America. Yeah. Like Bradley yeah. Walsh show. We go around in the RV in America. Uh, where is it? The man. What's, what's his name? His name. What's his name? You, you try and find his name, and I'll yeah. talk. Host. And he and he does the and he does. Yeah, he's a maitre d at the restaurant. There he is. And he does. Him. Fred, yeah, you like him. <laughs> That's basically your look. Look. Put him, can you do that face? Hold on. Let's find a nice way one to do a nice face. Oh no, that's not, that's not very much you, is it? It's, it's a bit, it's, yeah. I, I've got to try and. That looks like a good pose you can do, I think. A bit, a bit, a bit. Oh no, that one, that one there, where he's, where he's on the. Uh... Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> right. First oh my god, you do. No, right, no, right. I can't. <laughs> Put your glasses back on. I'm, I'm going to save you. Do you do look like him. <sighs> right, okay, can you do that? And then just side by side. Yeah. There you go, pretty good. Right, back onto the point. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Oh my god, you do. Do you oh. see? Do you see the resemblance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so putting this back on. Exactly. I Not because you're just a bold man with a beard. <laughs> you, you've got more. You've got more than. Uh... Yeah, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I want a bold man with a beard. You pick him. Uh, who else could I pick? Who are the bold men with a beard? Could I could I pick? Cesaro. But maybe. Or uh, Ricochet. Yeah, but I don't think you don't. You don't like those guys though. Or you like I him? Don't, I don't like him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I haven't got a blue suit, but I've got a grey suit. Exactly. Well, you know, I've got a blue one. No, I've got a blue suit. Um, but you don't him. But he does beard ads now. Yes. Do you know that? Uh, as well as doing the show with um, with Gordon Ramsay and Gino DeCampo. That's not him. That's his name now. Oh. His name again. Oh, oh Fred Sinex Sinos. Some French name. There he is. Yeah. Okay. Wow! Wow! My goodness! <laughs> yeah, is that you in the mirror, Corey? Hundred percent. The abs of steel. Yeah. My goodness. Does he wear glasses? <laughs> oh god, you're not gonna I find bet, a glasses. I bet picture. he wears like see-through circle glasses. Right, okay, go on. No. He wears sunglasses, apparently. I do have a pair of aviators, but I do look like that. There you go. <laughs> I'm I'm that's that's me. I'm basically Gordon Ramsay coming in on the side there, you know. Who's Gino then? Who's Gino? <laughs> I don't know who Gino is. Ryan Jones. But Ryan Jones is Gino. <laughs> of course he's look at that face. That's the Gino face right there. Anyway. Beard routine. Beard routine. Back to the beard routine. Yes. So. Uh, Sorry, Fred. Go on. Take us away. So I I, I wake up, going to shower. What like what like with, yeah. with the head slap? Ah, the head yeah. slap. Yeah. yeah. Open casket funeral yeah. and then and then the head slap. Going to shower. 
And then before I wash my head. What's your shower temperature? Mild. Mild. It's warm. You're not, not a cold man. You're a hot man. But not scathing. Right. It's like if you got a, if you got a. Wheel. Do you start with cold and does it try and does it does it go hot? Yes. Okay. It might be cold when I wash my hair. Okay. It's better for your head. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you so you what you get water, splash your face. Mm-hmm. Right. First off, I wash my face in the shower. Be honest. Yeah. But when you splash your face. Are you are you are you back toward the shower, or back away from the shower? I'm looking out the shower. I'm one of those people when I wash the hair who leans forward. <laughs> right. I'm one of them. Uh, I then wash my, I get water, splash my beard, uh-huh. beard shampoo. Beard shampoo. So you ain't got to do that, yeah. Okay, no, beard no. Beard shampoo. Whoa. Not there yet, yeah. Right. Wash out the beard shampoo. And then you get out of the shower. Mm-hmm. And if I'm feeling extra fancy, right, if I'm a little bit extra fancy, when I'm, when I'm after my beard and beard right. shampoo, I'll get the hair dryer. Do you have an oil? Do you have an oil? Okay, I'll get some. Okay, oh, right, okay. I'll get, I'll get the hair, hair dryer. dryer. <laughs> comb my beard. Hair no, dryer. I'll comb, hair dryer. Hair dry it down. Very nice, very nice. He's doing the motions, everyone, if yeah. you can't see him. He's doing the motions. Uh, and after that, I will, I've will. i got a nice beard moisturiser. Right. Rub it in your hands, squirt it on your hands, rub it in your hands. Okay. Yeah, all through the beard. Wow. Moustache. Uh-huh. Got a brush. What? Stroke it down. Yeah, that's your beard brush. Yeah. So I've got a beard comb as well. Stroke it down. Oh, I love that big bushy oh, beard. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just digest that for a minute? So that's making a thread coming out there. <laughs> <laughs> Big bushy oh, beard. <laughs> no, those are the three words you chose to end with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. The big... Right, okay. Let's just break that down for a minute. Yep. Let me see if I can get your routine right. <laughs> He's like... Is that you every morning? Yeah. Is that you every morning? Yeah. Just doing that. Is that beard comb? Beard comb, beard comb. Beard comb, guys. Beard comb. Obviously, other other beards um, grooming, other beard grooming actions are available. Beard comb's not a brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but other, other, you know, beard oil brands are available, whatever yeah. you're using. Yeah, so you've not, you've not quite got there yet. No, obviously not. I never, you know what? I never planned to get to that level, Corey. No, you, know, you, you want to have a bit of uh, the nice, bit, the big bushy beard. No, the nice beard oil. Shave your head. The no, same if you're day. gonna say it, you got you got to say it like how you do. What, the, the big bushy beard, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> like there's some sort of relish that you get. Trust in me. The... There comes a point in time where you will every man, but you'll be able to grow facial hair. Right, you, you I'll you... be able to like you. Like, I don't think I can. Well, you can't get cheeks yet, right? Like, I can't get cheeks. Yes, like, I can if I want. Okay, you, you'll get a full... At one point, you'll decide to grow a full right, beard. Right, yes, thank you, Corey. Right. Respect me. You, you'll get on the level of me and Fred, obviously. It's like you and Steve and Friends. Me and Fred. Yeah, like, right. you know, first name basis. Yeah, exclusive club. <laughs> me and Fred. So Fred was on the Book of Man. I'll be on there You're, You are the Book of Man. I am, you know? yes. Fred comes to me. He does. For advice. On um, his beard. Yeah. And his head. On <laughs> his head. Uh, there will come a time where you'll go bush your beard and you'll decide that, you know what? A big bushy beard? Yes, a big bushy beard. And there will come a time where you'll, you'll love the fact that you wake up every Monday. That's what I do. Every Monday. You'll no, be- not Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, no. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. You'll, you'll shave your head. It's Monday. Nice and therapeutic. Shave your head down. And you can't... Have a spa are, day. Are you... Are you depicting like a psychological breakdown <laughs> for me? Where I will shave all of my hair off no. and decide to grow a beard like I'm Tom Hanks in Castaway? No. You'll just, you'll just, you once a day, you'll, you'll decide, you know what, it's a nice therapeutic day for yourself every every week. Yes, but just a therapeutic day for myself starts by taking a razor to my hair. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but what if I decide I like my hair? Well, then you can keep it. But at one point, <laughs> at one point, it, it will, you'll get to a point where you'll go, you know what? I'll get to a point, like you're describing some sort of psychological episode. Is your, is your, has your dad got hair? But you'd... Yes, he's got hair. Is anyone, is anyone in your family losing hair? I don't think so. Oh, okay, you might be fine then. Why? My dad's still got hair. He's like he's like sixty years old. He's well, still got maybe, hair. Maybe you're lucky, but when you can't, he's got a beard. But you can't enjoy it. Oh, oh. Okay, so you might have the whole beard experience then. Yes, he will have the whole. Well, he's got brown hair, so he's fine. But, uh, but you, so you might be fine. Strange enough, you. me. I don't. I've no. I've no. I've done no, no much chest hair. I do. Of course you do. Yep. I'm not going to obviously t- to ask you to strip, but. Back hair now. Getting far too sexy, but no. Chest, yeah. Arms, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yes, a lot of arm yeah. hair, definitely. Mine's too... 
I look, I've stopped looking at that picture to make me laugh. My my hair's my hair's too fine on my arms. <laughs> Imagine you in the mirror going, "Oh, big bushy beard." Did you see that to yourself? Yeah, it's me. Just, <laughs> don't play the video. This is me. This is me. This is, what I is that you? Is that you there? No, nah, that, that's too advanced. Right? Oh, right, that's too advanced. That's too advanced. Is that you there? No, no, that, that's me. Like, oh, like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Can we dub that? Look, look, look. Big bushy beard. <laughs> I'm crying. The thing about love is anyone who's listened to this has no clue what the hell's going no. on. No, we're just we're just breaking out into fits of laughter. We've been at this for four hours yeah, now. <sighs> We've lost the plot. We best <laughs> we have. There's me there. <laughs> I don't think he appears again. Which is <laughs> it? <laughs> so did start? Why did he do that turn to the camera? <laughs> what was his direction there? I don't know. Just kind of say. Come back. Come I don't. Back. I don't even want to hear what he's saying. I just want to look at the motion. Fred, come back. Um, there he is. <laughs> he's staring. <into> the... <laughs> it's the fact that he goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the action of the head. Yeah. The dramatic head turn towards like, the camera. Big bush beer. <laughs> when you dubbed it, I was looking right at him as well. <laughs> And he looked right into the camera, and all I could hear was <laughs> you say that. Yeah. One day, uh, one day you will, you will decide to grow a beard. You'll probably hate it. <laughs> Knowing you, there you are. Yes, there you are. There. I love my beard. So, so do I, Fred. <laughs> so do I. Uh, <laughs> so do I, Fred. Let uh, me get him on the show to talk about beards. Go on. <laughs> Let's see if we can. At some point, I think I think you'd hate a beard. You think I'd hate a beard? I think you'd hate but it. But what? But why? I think. I think. I mean, I know I would too, but. Yeah. I think appearance-wise, you'd absolutely demise yeah, it. Yeah, because I don't like wearing scarves. Because I feel like it makes me look like <laughs> I feel like it makes me look too egotistical. Okay. <laughs> so I don't like scarves either. But I, I think right. We we talk about this, and obviously on the show, you don't present yourself this way. But we said before a lot of times, any you said before, any excuse to wear a suit, you wear a suit. Yes, I will. Now don't get me wrong. People look good in suits with beards. Because like, I because I like like Fred here. Yes. But I like wearing suits because I feel like it's like. I, I, I like any excuse for formal occasion. Yeah. I like the formality of wearing a suit. I feel like for you with a beard, it wouldn't suit your... But if I wore a suit every day, I wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah. But if, if I wear a suit every off. now and then, because the effect wears off. But if you wear it every now and like I do, like every couple of months yeah. or every three months, then this the occasion that you do, you feel very important. Yeah. I feel like for you, it just wouldn't... I think one, it wouldn't feel... You wouldn't feel like... It wouldn't fit your Yeah. Style. And it's not really an achievement for people. It's actually a failure in personal hygiene. But also... But, I don't know if you would like the maintaining aspect of it. No, I, one, I don't like to maintain a lot of things. Well, exactly, because one, you have to like wash it every day and oil no, it every no, day no. and comb it and brush it. Also, like you said, you get loads of stuff in it and you are very much like, oh, wash my hands all the like. Yeah, I'm a very... You are very, like to be clean. Clean person. I shower twice a day, which is exactly. frowned upon in my family. Exactly. So I don't think you'll like it. Cause like, oh, you got yeah, but then I'm like, you, you are dirty when you have been through the day. Yeah. Because you'd be like, oh, you're all moody. You got a bit. You got a food in your beard. You'd be like, oh no, <laughs> oh, it's going off. Yeah. It's coming off. I'm sorry, Fred. It's going. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fred disappears in your mirror. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> it's, like, it's like bloody Mary. Yeah. It's you like when you say beard, Fred. Bro. Yeah. He's like, he does that turn as well <laughs> towards you. <laughs> if you say, if you say Fred, Fred Sererix, whatever his name is, five times in the mirror. If you say King C. Gillette. He's gonna, he's gonna appear in you like that. There he is. Cool. <laughs> like that. Do you, know what, do you know what I might do if I'm bored? First what? off, if, you, if you're watching on YouTube, I would have put that video on there. Yeah. Uh, I might, if I'm really, really bored, and if I have time, I might recreate that. Do so what? I just add myself. Add yourself, like, green screen yourself in as, as, yeah. as him. <laughs> and just say, big, would you be? Put that shirt on, put that white shirt on, and tuck the shirt there. Put the stuff, put like the coat behind you, or whatever, and do the turn to the to the mirror like that. <laughs> yeah, wear that shirt. Just wear that shirt. Like. I like how we've gone from um, talking about us to and talking about beards to talking about how I look like Fred. I'm going to Google how you say his name. I really yeah. Like how to pro now? People know what we're talking about. He's in the public eye. People know who we're talking about. Yeah. I've I've searched it up so many. The guy from First Dates. Yeah. Where's the like? There's one there, YouTube pronunciation. I bet it's a text to speech voice though. It is. 100% it is. Uh, is it like a. Very easy. Is there a very easy. Very How easy. to pronounce.com? Give me the. What is it? Is it phonetics where it tells you like. Yeah, yeah, the phonetics. 
If not, I'm going to have to listen to a voice. I am, aren't I? Oh, okay. Right, viewers. Right, you're okay. I'll, I'll entertain the viewers. Viewers, you're going to hear so us. So what well. he's doing now is he's he's putting the headphones on Wait, and... Because they'll hear it as well. Okay. It's a French person. Yeah. It, it sounds like there's Fred Syriax. Fred Syriax, yeah. okay. All right, sure. But in a more French accent. Fred Syriax. That's a bit. <laughs> what was that? Fred Syriax. <laughs> I can't do French. Bonjour. Yeah. Je m'appelle et couf. Yeah. I was about to go, my name is, ist. that's German. Yes. My name is, ist. no. I was about to say, um, au de bouffe de la pantalon. Yes. You know what that means? Uh, I think I know what pantalon is. It's, maybe that means beef of the trousers. Yeah. <laughs> or trou tra 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 trouser, or you know, yeah. trouser beef. Um, I'm struggling to do it now. Yeah, you are. You're just doing the Fred. You're doing the Fred maneuver, the Fred motion. I can't do that. I've not got a moustache. See, see now, we, okay, now we've established. I am the, the Fred Syriax. You're Fred Syriax. But, but, but that leaves you. Who are you? I think I'm I think I'm probably Gordon Ramsay. I must yeah. be. I've not got the hair for it, though. Are you a chef? Um, do you cook, no, I don't. Do you cook often? I don't actually cook, and I'm actually very bad at it. <laughs> I'm, so I can't be Gino, either. No. Arguably, Gino's worse of a cook. I would assume Is he? Is he? Ramsay. I think so. Gino's would probably be good. Gino good. always, always, always uh, t um, trash talk scored around to that when they were doing cooking together. Yeah, I watched that show exactly once, and it was on the day before my graduation. <laughs> and I was in a hotel room, and it was and it was midnight, and I was watching that program because it was on ITV two. Nice. And I was just watching that show. And training enough, they were doing pro wrestling. They were doing luchador. They were in Mexico. They were doing luchador See wrestling. That one. Yeah, I know. And they came out with it. That's you there. My beard's oiled. I'm ready to go. See, look, he knows the importance of having an oily beard. Yeah. So therapeutic. Look, look at that smile, look. You know what? I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna. On his Instagram. Oh. You followed him on his Instagram. Congratulations. Hit him with a follow. Let's have a look at some of his pictures. Let's have a look at this man's picture. Why is this turned into? Let's just look at Fred Syriax. <laughs> is that you there? <laughs> in the baffle of the peas. That's grapes. grapes. <laughs> Why is it in the baffle of grapes, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Fred? Why? He gets a lot of pictures shirtless, doesn't he? Why is he staring out there? <laughs> He's doing a pog face look. Pogtastic. That's just too... He's got hair! He's lying to you, Corey. See, he's growing it, see, see, he's growing it back. He's growing it back. I to he should have shaved it off. Again. Yeah, exactly. You should tell Fred, ring Fred up and say, look, Fred, you got to get rid of the hair. Oi. <laughs> but this isn't the phone from Taken. Why are you doing that voice? <laughs> Oi. Look, you listen here, Fred. You're getting rid of that air. My beard relaxes me more than wine. See what? if he gets it. <laughs> what is that quote? <laughs> My beard relaxes me more than wine. Uh, Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Fred this is the X. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. You know what? I think that's part of it. Where you go down so far on Google, you just get to all the cursed photos of him, yeah. where he's like superimposed. We need to find your celebrity. My celebrity. Like doppelganger. Doppelganger. Kind of. Well, this is this yours? Are you thinking yeah. this guy's yours? Yeah, I'll take him. I'll take Fred Syriax. You've got him. You've got him. Grow your hair back. You know what? That was actually you when you when his his hair grows back the same way yours does. It does. It goes back in that sort of lined way like that. Yeah. So you you could pull that off, I think. Yeah, there he is. How old is he? How old do you think he is? What, Fred Syriax. Yeah. Right, well, okay, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. You look how old he is. I'll guess. How old do you think he is? This will be the last segment, yeah, I think. before we end this episode. Before we end this episode, I'm going to guess how old Fred Syriax is out of everyone. Have you looked at it? You've found his age? I've got it, yes. Okay. I don't want to insult him. I'm sorry, Fred, if you're watching. I, I don't want to insult you. Um, oh, he must be past his 30s, I think. Are you surprised by his age? Yes. You think he's... Okay. What, I mean, I'm not going to ask... I'm not going to ask which way, then. Yeah. I think Gordon Ramsay is about 50. Can you tell me how old Gordon Ramsay is? Yes, yeah, sure. I think he's about 50 something. Gordon Ramsay is. This is just to inform my opinion about old Fred. He's 56. Right, I'm going to say Fred's pretty close then. I'm going to say Fred's probably younger than him, but not by much. Okay. I'm going to say Fred is 54 years old. Incorrect. Oh, right, okay. I'll get three, I'll get, I'll get three guesses then. <laughs> Am I close? Am I close? Yeah. Fifty-five. No. Oh. Am I going up right? Am I hot or cold? 
You can't tell me. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say he's 52. No. Oh, how old is he? 50. Oh, dang. <laughs> so yeah, I think you're four years, five years older than you are, Fred. Yeah. Oh well. Sorry about that. Sorry if you're watching, Fred. Oh, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. It, He's watching for you. Oh, exactly. Honestly, he wants, he wants, watching for you. He wants the beard knowledge. He wants the beard knowledge. He's going to copy my routine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> beard knowledge. He's going to go in the shower. He's going to put in that... Beard knowledge. Yeah. Beard knowledge. Put in that shampoo. <sighs> what is wrong with celebrity culture when growing a beard is happens to be a, yeah. a, a public statement? You see, he's, he's a king. He's a king's heat that man. I am a... Well, I see. I use L'Oreal man. I use L'Oreal, but he's a brawn shaver. Brawn shaver. Bra- yeah. brawn, get these hands. Brawn Strowman shaver. Yeah, that's the one. Nice. With a brawn train. Yes. Maybe you maybe you should be turned to you should be a King C Gillette man. I should get a shaving kit. Shaving kit, yeah, exactly. Look, fifty percent off. Wow. On selected King C Gillette, not a sponsor, other beard other beard uh beard care look, beard it? care uh distributors are available. Beard and face wash, that's what I use. Nice. Beard thickener. Oh. Do you want your beard to be thick? You could put that on your mustache. I could, I could. Moisturizer. see I, I use moisturizer. Yeah, I use moisturizer and Soft I use beard face balm. Wash. Beard balm. But balm? Balm. Balm. Yeah. Do you know what for? What is that for? It's, it? to, it's like wax. So it's oh, it's like it. wax. Yeah. You can I put, have shaving wax. You can put it in your uh, moustache and you can curl your moustache. Oh, wow. I can have a curled moustache. A handlebar. Yeah. Transparent shave gel. I can't see that. No, you can't. Prevents razor and a, I'm reading. And a cooling sensation. Yeah. What the heck? Fred. You see, it sounds nice, doesn't it? It does. It sounds, it sounds very alluring. You shave your head. Oh, nice and cold. Shave my, oh, the shave my head thing is very... Right, okay. Um, I think this has gone <laughs> far enough. I think it's gone on far enough. This was... This whole segment... This has gone off the rails in the forgot, best way. It be forgotten. Well, in about a month. Unless we get Fred to the X on the show. <laughs> right, okay. Then this segment will be worth it. Right, it will be. We hope you very much enjoyed our yes. 2023 down the rabbit hole adventure <laughs> with me and Corey. I certainly did, eh? But thank you very much. Thank you for sticking with us for this uh, for 2022. And I'm going to make the dad joke. Okay. But we'll see you next year. Oh, yeah. We'll see you in 2023, about a couple of weeks' time. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the real show. And to play us out, yes. we're going to... I did... I'm, <laughs> I'm going to remember now. <laughs> Corey's going to tell you about his favourite song, yeah. aren't you? So uh, we are We are going to end with You've a... Got a se- yeah, you've got to I, I, am. I am. Okay. We are going to end with a song... Uh, that I listen to all the time. Yeah. It is Backstabbers by the OJs. <laughs> Good. Is it goodbye from me? Goodbye. And a goodbye from Corey. Goodbye. They call us. You can subscribe to the real show and see how far we see how far we've come. And that's not the bit, but it's it's just like punk music. Right. Is that on? No. Okay. The the red light flashing, Corey. It's not on. It's not on. Oh. Right, three, three outside. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's on. <laughs>